my entertaining universe. Now, today's video may seem boring to you because I'm going to be talking about wildlife and I'm going to be talking about trees and I'm going to be talking about nature of, of sorts. And I'm not, you know, I don't want you guys to think that just because I'm talking about this, that I'm a naturist or that I'm a botanist or or a zoologist or anything of that sort. But there are certain, and there, I think there's a term, there's a term that describes what, what I'm going to talk about today, but there are so many different trees that exist in this world. You know, I've seen sequoias, I've seen redwoods, I've seen a bunch of different types of trees, oak trees, you know, cypresses, even though I don't know if you classify cypress as a tree. Some may, some may not. And I'm not, like I said at the very beginning of this video, so you guys understand that I am not a botanist, nor am I a tree expert, nor am I any of these things. But there are trees out there in this world that I've seen that are beautiful, in my opinion. This is just my opinion. It's not, not based on anything, but just my opinion of what I've seen. Excuse me for a second. And I apologize for that because I know you guys think that's gross. Anyways, there's and there's plants out there that exist that are beautiful as well, like lilies and and orchids and and um, you know chrysanthemums. You know, I mean, even if we, I know Venus flytraps aren't you know the best representation. You know, succulents. Some succulents are greater. You know, cactuses are awesome. All of these different things in this world that, you know, are amazing, like, like the trees I listed, and like, and anything else that, you know, I'm not saying I'm going to be a plant expert, or plan to be a plant expert, or any of that stuff anytime soon, or maybe ever, I'm just saying there are trees that are gorgeous, there are, tr there are plants that are beautiful, there are a lot of things that exist in this world that are just beautiful, and gorgeous and amazing and all of that stuff. And it's not just plants and trees. It's, you know, like butterflies and and ladybugs and, you know, some some individuals like spiders as pets. And I'm not saying you have to you have to like spiders or snakes or ladybugs or or you know, butterflies or any of those things or Anything that could be considered beautiful. It could be a cat. It could be It could be it could be a bug. It could be a bear. I don't know why you would think a bear is beautiful, but Teach their own. It could be It could be a monkey. It could be a dog. It could be a fish It could be anything in this world that exists and I know there's certain fish that could be construed as ugly, and there's nothing wrong with being ugly, just so let's clarify that right here, right now. And there's probably, you know, and there's nothing, I, I shouldn't say the word ugly, because that's, that's discriminatory against that, that specific fish that others might seem, might think is not as attractive as other fish, or same things with butterflies, same things with spiders, same thing with, you know, snakes, and any other creature that exists in this world, some may think that it's beautiful and and gorgeous and I don't there's probably other words to describe them, but I'm not saying, you know, every single person has the exact same opinion as I do because we're all different individuals. There might be someone who likes tarantulas and there's someone who might not like tarantulas. There's maybe someone who likes a ball python and then there's maybe someone that doesn't like a ball python or any type of snake or stick bug someone might find that you know pretty or something like that and there's maybe someone else thinks that a stick bug isn't as pretty you know it's just a matter of how you look at the world if you look at everything in a, in a positive light whether it's an insect, whether it's a snake, whether it's a cat of some sort, whether it's a dog, whether it's, you know, a fish or, 
a bear or a wolverine or a Tasmanian devil or whatever it may be. There are people in this world who believe animals and trees and all of that stuff are, you know, pretty and beautiful and gorgeous and all these other words that you can think of. And then there's other individuals out there who think that they're not as, you know, not as, you know, negative. They think negatively about those animals. Like it could be a tiger. It could be a lion. It could be, you know, any type of bird. Or it could be an eagle. It could be a hawk. It could be a crow. There's just so many di there's There's different sides to every, every person. Someone might love an animal or a tree and others may not love an animal or a tree. That's that's just your opinion and there are certain animals that I believe and I'm not going to go into detail of every single animal I believe that's awesome and amazing and beautiful and gorgeous and pretty and you know all that stuff and then there's you know trees that could be like that as well and then there's someone else who's going to think differently about that said tree or that said animal or that said insect or whatever it may be. You know, that's all I wanted to get out today in today's vlog. It may not make sense to you. It may make absolutely no sense to you, but that's, that's, that's what I wanted to discuss today. So yesterday I got my second vaccine. So I got that. And I'm all set now. I'm not saying I'm going to travel anywhere anytime soon. Or maybe ever. Well, I mean, if I do travel, it'll be five months from now when when I, I talked about that trip that we're working towards getting to. But that's still, you know, five months away. I, but I am fully vaccinated. It says it takes two weeks to, you know, to have that 95% effectiveness to combat the coronavirus or COVID or COVID-19 or whatever you want to call it. And, but I am, I do have both Moderna shots now and I feel fine. I'm just have a little sore arm and, but it's mostly fine. So I thought I'd share that with you guys that I'm fully vaccinated, even though it's going to take a couple weeks before I get to that 95% that they expected to be effectiveness of, you know, combating or just not destroying completely, but there's still, you know, 5% chance, even though that's not nothing to worry about. It's just, like I said, it's just sore a little bit on my arm from where I got the shot on my right arm, because that's where I got, I got the first and second. Now, with that being said, let's do birthdays and let's do the outro and say goodbye. So we've got, Hannah Palmer, happy 23rd birthday to her. And Natalie Roser, happy 31st birthday to her. And anyone else who has a birthday on this 18th day of May 2021. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand spanking new vlog. And ciao. And bye bye.